Hi guys, Ben Parsons here again on the Movie and More channel, and as you can see, it's Christmas. And what better way to celebrate Christmas by telling you my top 10 movies to watch during the Christmas period. Okay, the first film on my Christmas movie list is Jingle All The Way. I'm sure you, many of you have seen it. It stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and it also stars uh, Jake Lloyd, who starred as Anakin Skywalker in the Star Wars film. Okay, it's directed by Brian Levant, who also directed uh, Beethoven and The Flintstones. So he's no stranger to comedy films, but this time he's come out with a, a Christmas edition. Okay, and basically it's about uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, who really wants an action figure. And his son, who's promised him this action figure, forgets completely about uh, buying it for him. And on Christmas Eve, he's running around all the malls, all the shops to try and find this action figure. But to his surprise, they're all sold out. So the film's about him trying to get this action figure in time for Christmas. And obviously, it's a comedy, so you can you can imagine what sort of things happen to Andrew Schwarzenegger on his journey trying to find this amazing action figure. And you know, I really enjoyed this film. Arnold Schwarzenegger, as you know, there's a lot of action films, but obviously he's not he's not a stranger to comedy and uh, you know for a Christmas film I, I enjoyed this. Yeah, Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, the next film on my list is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Okay, it's a th the third film in a series of National Lampoon uh, vacations, the first one being National Lampoon Vacation, the second vacation in Europe, and now we have the Christmas Vacation. And uh, it stars Chevy Chase, and as always, his films are great, great comedy film, I really enjoyed it. And basically it's about him, he's Mr. Groswold in the film, he's attempting to organise a perfect Christmas for him and his family. But as always in these types of films, everything that can go wrong, does go wrong. And it's a great family entertainment Christmas movie, and uh, yeah, I also really enjoyed this film. Okay, the next film is Polar Express. Polar Express stars Tom Hanks, it's an animation film, and he actually does the voices to six of the characters in the film. Uh, there's also a star appearance, uh, Steve Tyler is, does the voice of the head elf in the film. It's directed by Robert Zemeckis, who also directed great films like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Forrest Gump, and even Back to the Future. And basically it's about a young boy who's been told that uh, Santa Claus doesn't exist. And one Christmas Eve, a train is up outside his house, and he goes outside to investigate. And there's a train inspector who steps off the train and invites him, invites him in, and gives him a ticket. And this ticket's going to take him all the way to the North Pole to show him that Santa Claus does exist and that he shouldn't have any doubts. Okay, it's a great children's film. It's a great Christmas film for, for all ages. And the animation is uh, really stunning. It's visually stunning. And I really enjoyed this film just as much as any other Christmas film that's been done in the past. Okay, the next Christmas film on the list is the Santa Claus. It stars Tim Allen and it was actually his first uh, big screen debut and he did really well in that. I really enjoyed this film. Every time I watch it, makes me laugh even though I know the plot. Always makes me laugh. And basically it's about uh, a man who's uh, got to look after his son and one day his son is at home and they hear a noise on the roof and it's actually, they think it's an intruder. And they go outside and there's a man on the roof and they call him or they shout at him and uh, he, he loses his concentration and he falls off the roof and he's killed. And uh, it's Santa Claus. So what happens over the next year is uh, physically uh, Tim Allen or Scott Calvin in the film physically starts to change and his appearance becomes more and more like Santa Claus. And the film's about him uh, sort of changing bit by bit into Santa Claus. And, uh, you know, it's a great laugh. There's loads of comedy parts in the film which really made me smile and it's it's a great film to watch this time of year. Okay, the next film is The Holiday. Okay, The Holiday is a bit more of an adult film, but you know, it's, it's great to watch at Christmas too and I'm sure many of you have seen it. It's got an all-star cast. It's got Jack Black in it, Kate Winslet, Cameron Diaz and one of my favourite actors, Jude Law. Okay, and it's directed by Nancy Myers, who also directed Father of the Bride and What Women Want, which were both uh, equally good comedies. And basically it's about two women who at Christmas time, they're, they're single and they're just tired of being around men and being bothered by men and what they want to do is escape from all of this at Christmas time and sort of spend Christmas on their own. So they're both looking on the internet for sort of holidays that they could do far away from where they live and they sort of both get speaking and they propose a, a house swap or a house exchange. 
and obviously they exchange houses thinking that they're going to be far enough away from their hometowns that they're not going to be bothered by any men or any people they know. But what they don't know is that oh, there are men everywhere, and wherever they're going to go, there's going to be men. And it's about you know Christmas spirit and uh, relationships at Christmas, but it's a really fun fun film. And there's some great performances, especially from Jude Law and Jack Black in it. I really love both of them in the film. And I think it's a really good film to watch at Christmas time, the holiday. Okay, and the next film is one I'm sure you've all seen time and again. is Home and Alone. Okay? Uh, obviously, you know it stars Macaulay Culkin and uh, Joe Pesci. And it's directed by Chris Columbus, who also directed Miss Doubtfire, which is one of my favourite comedies. And... Basically, the plot of the film is Macaulay Culkin, who's Kevin, is one of the youngest uh, brothers and sisters in a, a really large, typical American family. And they always go away for a trip at Christmas. And basically, to cut a long story short, they go on holiday and they forget about Kevin and he gets left at home. So what he realises he has to do is he has to look after the home himself while his parents are away because he realises that there are a couple of... Uh, a couple of burglars that are going around to the houses at Christmas uh, looking if there's any opportunity to steal things. So he has to protect his own house and obviously he's alone, so he's home alone. And it's a great Christmas, uh, great Christmas film with loads of great comedy scenes in it and Joe Pesci is amazing. I love this actor and especially in this film he really made me laugh and it's a great Christmas movie for children. Okay, the next film is Arthur Christmas. Now, Arthur Christmas is another animated, animated Christmas film. So, as you can imagine, there was an all-star cast of voice actors, okay? But the main two that uh, come to mind are James McAvoy, who was uh, Professor X in X-Men, and also Bill Nye, who plays, uh, uh, I think his name is Rupert uh, Scrimshaw in uh, Harry Potter, The Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. And they do really good parts in this film. Their voices, you know, they really bring the characters to life and... Uh, I really enjoyed this film. It's actually a recent one. I think it's 2011 or 2012, so it's a recent one, but it's made it onto my list. And basically it's about uh, a boy called Arthur who works with the elves in uh, the North Pole, and they help prepare things for Christmas. And the film shows you how it's possible that uh, Santa Claus can deliver presents all around the world to all the children in the world just on one night. But this particular Christmas... A mistake happens and Arthur has to sort of save Christmas himself by uh, by correcting the error that's occurred on the on Christmas Eve and that's why it's called Arthur Christmas because he has to save it himself okay the next film I can't say it's really for children it's a bit of a dark comedy it's called Bad Santa okay and it stars Billy Bob Thornton and also Bernie Mac and uh, basically it's about uh, uh, Billy Bob Thornton is a is a robber and what he does is every Christmas he he gets jobs as Santa Claus and with his uh, partner or with his uh, partner in crime who stars as an elf, they pretend to be Christmas in, in malls and shopping centres around America. And while they're saying Merry Christmas to the children, giving them presents, what they're actually doing is scoping out the mall to see what shops and they can steal from and uh, which shops have got the most money to steal on Christmas Eve. And what happens in this year, this particular year in the film, it doesn't go all to plan, and uh, it's funny what happens to him. It's the funny w the way he, he treats the children, the way he acts, because he actually hates Christmas, he hates children, but he has to try and hide this from the, the owner of them all who's paying him to be Santa. And this year something goes wrong, and you know it's a really funny film. I really enjoyed this comedy film. And, you know, it's just good, just gets you really into the Christmas spirit in a dark comedy sort of way, but you just can't stop laughing in this film. Okay, the next film on the list is Love Actually, a great Christmas film, a great comedy set in London, and I know I say a lot of films are, have an all-star cast, but this really, really does have an all-star cast, okay, I think there's about 11 or 12 actors, you know, really well-known actors in this film, uh, you know, Colin Firth, you've got Hugh Grant, Kira Knightley, Liam Neeson, Rowan Atkinson, Bill Nye, Emma Thompson, Laura Linney, and, and also Martin Freeman. And Martin Freeman, if you don't know, he's actually Bilbo Baggins in the, the new Hobbit films. So, you know, in this, he does really well in this film. He really made me laugh. And basically the plot of the film is uh, loads of different people living in London and the, the way their relationships develop during the Christmas season and the way people break up or meet new people. 
or their wives uh, cheat on their husbands or their husbands cheat on their wives. It's just like a, a little mix of uh, Christmas relationships that, that happen over Christmas and just full of comedy. Really enjoyed the film, really made me laugh. And it's one of these films that, you know, every time they put it on TV at Christmas time, I just start watching. I can't stop until the film finishes. Great Christmas film. Okay, and my last and actually favourite Christmas film is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, this is another animated uh, Christmas film, but this time it's, it, they use stop motion. And if you don't know what stop motion is, it's literally they've got like plastic uh, or plasticine puppets. And what they do is they film half a second or a quarter of a second and then they move the puppet a little bit and they film a bit more and they move the puppet a little bit. So, you know, it is animation, but it's not computer animation. It's uh, stop motion animated. You know, it's really good for the whole family because it, it's, it is a musical. You can sing along, you can put the subtitles on. But it's, you know, it's a, a Christmas story with a difference. And basically the plot of the film is that, you know, you have an imaginary world where there are different towns. You know, you have an Easter town, you have a Halloween town and a Christmas town. You know, all the, all the festivals, all the festivities, each have their, their own little town. And the film follows Jack Skellington, who is uh, the leader or the most important person in the Halloween town. And basically every year, they, throughout the whole year, they're preparing Halloween and then they have the day of Halloween. And it's always a success. But, you know, Jack Skellington over time, you know, always doing the same thing, scaring people and doing the same things at Halloween is getting bored. And one time, one day when he's walking, uh, walking through the woods, he uh, finds the, the Christmas town. And when he sees the Christmas town with Father Christmas and all the lights and the snow and people are happy and, you know, he f immediately falls in love with the Christmas town and he believes that he can do it better. So he goes back to Halloween town and he tells the people that this year they're going to do something different. They're going to do Christmas, but they're going to they're going to do it in their own way. And the film is basically them preparing for this Christmas day, but it's done by Jack Skellington, who's used to scaring people and uh, Halloween. So it's, you know, it's... It's a really good uh, musical, it's a really good Christmas film, but you know there's a bit of comedy in there and it makes you laugh and it's amazing to see the animation in the film. And it's just one, one film that I've got in my collection and I, I can watch it again and again and I never get bored. So I hope you like my top 10 uh, Christmas movie list and please if you have any comments, if you think that I should have added a different film or a couple of films that I have on my list you don't like at all, please comment down below. And if you like this video, please click on like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe.